I told you about the other stops we had to make tonight. No, man. No, no, no. You, you said we, we was just visiting friends, man. We are visiting friends. Now, you drive me around. I make my rounds. We both have a job. Hopefully you make it through the night and you can make it $700 richer. You remember the guy who was on the news about a year ago about that Ponzi scheme? Mm -hmm. Well, he disappeared $50 billion. The money was never recovered. He skipped out and bought himself citizenship on some shithole of a Caribbean island that had no extradition laws and um, called itself a country. A lot of very pissed off people lost everything. Now you're trying to concentrate? Between you, the coyotes, and the crickets? Yeah. I thought doesn't have much of a chance. Alright, well, here's a thought for you. Uh, I don't need a thought. I got my own. I can do this thing on my own. Ever heard of Rwanda? Yes, I heard of Rwanda, man. Tens of thousands killed before sundown. Nobody's killed people that fast since Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But did you bat an IMAX? What? Did you join Amnesty International? Oxfam or something? No. I off one guy and you throw a hissy fit? Man, I don't even know any Rwandans, man. And you don't know the guy either, right? What are you doing here? I don't know, maybe we need to discuss something before I leave again tomorrow? Forever? It was just a fling. Still, it's like common courtesy. Might even be a law. I haven't heard from you in a year. Look, I know. Right? It's not like I haven't thought about you. You gotta remember that nobody makes it out this world alive, all right? Even we cut smoking, even if we cut red meat, everybody dies, Max. Everybody. Let's go. No. <laughs> <laughs> 